down there in the well. He has no voice, he can't shout, he can't talk, and he's freezing. And the people up top think that he's some water spirit, so they throw apples to him thinking it'll bring them more water. The first apple misses him, but the second and third, they hit him right on the noggin. Hey, gardener, I am talking to you. Answer me! Are you deaf? Yeah, yeah, the, well, the apples, I heard you. So what? I have a garden to tend here. Huh? All you care about is gardening. I mean, just imagine. What if you were the one who fell in that well? <gasps> you try to shout, but you have no voice. So then, you try to climb the walls. You make it nearly to the top, and then you slip. Huh? Uh. You lay there. It's cold. Buried in apples. You think that it's all over for you. You look up. You see a light. You think it's the light at the end of the tunnel. But it's really just a light bulb that the people up top lowered into the well to see what was really going on. The light is coming towards you. Closer. Closer. You can almost touch it. And then you get a great big electric shock. No. 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 What do you think this is? A circus act? Someone help him! That's right! And then Rosa jumps up and shouts like this. Ah! And then Barry takes a step backwards, and the rake hits in the back of his head. Ba-boom! And then he takes a step forward onto the other rake. Ba-boom! He takes a step back again. Boom! He steps forward. Boom! He steps back <laughs> You again. crazy Boom! kids. It's true. Boom! That's how it happened. I don't believe it. Hmm? I don't believe my friend Barry was such a klutz and that he would step on the same rake over and over and over again. The world is not as simple as you might think, my young friends. Let's take Rosa, for instance. So carefree. And just what do you mean by carefree? I mean it's good. You're just walking along, humming a little song, and don't see the danger hidden in the grass. You don't see it. But Barry does, just then. He sees that Rosa is about to accidentally step on the rake hidden in the tall grass. He realizes that he is able to save her, but only if he steps on the rake himself. And so, he does it. He steps on it. Mm, Chico, you're just not getting the point at all. You're acting like a, a fool. I need a real hero. Am I clear? A hero. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I understand what happened now. You were sacrificing yourself or someone else. You're amazing. So what you're saying here is that Barry's a hero and that I'm just carefree. Mm. A fool who's not cool? I'm so impressed. It's amazing how you connected all the dots to figure out exactly what happened. But there's never a guarantee that those around us will understand our true intentions. Everyone sees things so differently. We're so lucky to have such a remarkable behavior analyst as you. It's so rare. How can we make sure that everybody understands exactly what we mean? It's all in your expressions, old chap. That's right, expressions. If you're going to laugh, then laugh so that people will hear you miles away. <laughs> now, if you think that the moment is tragic and you feel like you need to shed a tear... <laughs> is everything all right? You have to do it so no one has any doubts as to what your true intentions are. That's very interesting. But what if I'm doing something that I consider to be really smart, but everyone else around me refuses to acknowledge it? It's quite simple, actually. First, lower your brows, then you squint your eyes like this, you smile ambiguously, and proceed to condescendingly shake your head back and forth ever so slowly. But what if you realize that in reality, what you're doing is something stupid, but you don't want everybody to catch on? 
Do the exact same thing, except add a stupid smile to your face. <laughs> wow. Cool. It's got What potential. am I doing now? Oh, mm. you're up to no good. That's right. And now, hmm. You're, you're being, being greedy. greedy. That's right. We can read you like a book, my friend. Communicating with you is a pleasure. Okay, see if you can guess what I'm doing now. Uh, uh, hey, guys, what happened to me? Uh, huh? The carefree Rosa was walking and didn't see the danger. But you saw it and threw yourself on the rake. But at that moment, you lost consciousness. And you've been fighting ever since to stay alive. Then you got better. Oh! oh. And threw yourself on the wreck again. 